uh, colleagues of the black community and also again tomorrow our voyage tempo will talk to us and woody king jr on friday and uh, it is a time uh, of uh, 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 of uncertainty a time where we do not know what to do we do not know what will happen and we do not uh, really uh, know uh, how the world uh, will will change perhaps it has already changed as a car that is in full speed on the brakes it's in the air and we don't know if we will land on four wheels or a big crash and uh, we do need uh, do need some answers, but also our theater community and performance community need things to think about. And if this is a time we can really think, it's a time also where we can listen. And we have done that here for our 11 weeks. We are the only institution, I think, in America that is open, that produces new content every day related to this. And today is a very uh, a special day for us, important day. It is the first time we also uh, have a, a, a colleague, a, a, a thinker with us who is not directly from the field of theater and performance. Even so, he writes about theater. He also wrote a bit for theater, if I understand. But he is a thinker, a maître à penser, as the French say. And we need that now to think. And he has done that all his life. And he wrote something beautiful or talk something beautiful this was called Wozu braucht man Kunst why does one need art he gave a talk at the State Academy of Fine Arts in Karlsruhe Germany uh, the Riemann Schneider lecture with Caroline Meister uh, published by Walter König in Switzerland and he said why does one need art already then and now we really have these questions now so um Really, first of all, Jean-Luc Nancy uh, is one of the significant philosophers of our time. Thank you for joining us. It is a big honor to have you with us. And thank you to Irene Anastas for translating. She is here in Brooklyn, an artist based in Brooklyn. But Jean-Luc, uh, where are you right now? And uh, what, what time is it? Me? Mm -hmm. ah, I am in Strasbourg, France. And it is uh, six. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. More or less. Yeah. How was the time, this time of Corona for you? How did you experience this moment? Well, this is precisely an experience, but it is not an experience because of the lockdown and uh, the question of illness etc etc that's all it's, it's absolutely not an experience the experience has been the experience of of the the way the entire world uh, was concerned uh, with, with this uh, virus and how this virus did work and works still as I would say as a revelator, can I say that, revelator? Uh, or, or in another language, a catalyst, a catalyzer uh, mm -hmm. of something, something which is already there since a long time and which is not finished and will not be finished uh, even with a pandemic. That is the global, uh, to say that with, uh, with the word of Freud, the global disease of the civilization. So the virus has been and is still an excellent revelator or catalyst or of our disease. In itself, in itself, it, it is not such a, a, a big problem. Uh, and, I, and I 
I can partly understand that some people said and said still today uh, it was not needed to to make a lockdown, etc. To, to uh, and briefly we can we can let the old people die and the old and weak people die, like me, for example, uh, people of 80 with the uh, immuno. Uh, immunosuppression or depression, they are good to, to die anyway. No, uh, but, but precisely, precisely, the mere fact that, that we have been pushed in such discussion, like what are we doing with the old people, with the, with the already quasi dying people, you know, et cetera. So only the fact that we are pushed toward those questions is a revelator because since a long time, we know, we know that our developed societies with so many old people and so many people who don't have a, a very, uh, good life. No, it was all the time in, in France or, uh, or in Europe, uh, all the time it was uh, talking about, uh, I don't know the, the name in uh, les, uh, les maisons de vieillard. Mm -hmm. Old the, age home. Huh? Old, old age, age home. home. Well, uh, in France, in France is a little table because there is an acronym that is a each a no e e h a p uh, établissement hospitalier pour adultes no et pas no d d dépendant no, no. Uh, and so with with uh, EPAD, EPAD uh, is 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 a, is a, is a word pronounced a thousand times a day now uh, and there, there are of course, the, are not very good places. E, e, even if there are some, some are good, some are not so, so good. Uh, but it is the question is, is not there. The, the question is that uh, we don't know how to manage with the old people. Why? because we don't know what is, what can be the life uh, of people no longer able to work, to produce something, to uh, enter and we, we, and this, this is, this is a, a question belonging to the very heart of our civilization very hard. So, um, oh, just, just that, I, I, will not, I will not talk too, too long about mm -hmm. that, but you know, it is, uh, I think that on this level and on many other level, uh, we, we could see, we can't see how there is now a kind of, uh, you see, Revelation, or, mm -hmm. so. but the, the, the revelation is uh, uh, like any revelation, like the revelation of God. The revelation of God is uh, the revelation that God was all, <laughs> all the time there before. You know? God says only, you know, Ole, I'm here. Well, so, and now the uh, precisely not God, uh, but uh, the precisely the contrary, <laughs> in a way, the contrary of God, the, the, the absence of sense of our civilization reveals itself completely with, with an ambiguity. The ambiguity is that at the same time, we, uh, 
we started to think how precious is human life and besides is the other side of the old people is that any human life uh, deserves uh, respect, uh, and, uh, medicine, etc., etc. Uh, but at the same time, I think, precisely the, the, because we have the two things together. On one side, we don't know how to deal with the long life. On the other side, uh, all life is, uh, is an absolute value. But we don't know how to put both together. And, we, and it has been like an only one answer that is medicine and medicine and medicine. And then uh, and everything to protect, uh, protect the people, protect more the old people, etc., etc. But, and the revelation here is that we don't know why human life uh, is so absolutely precious. We don't know. Uh, we, and, and I would say we are in the in the in a way it is the, the total revelation of Marx, I would say. In in the in the meaning that Marx said capitalism uh, <clears throat> knows only one value, and the only one value is the uh, uh, general equivalency, that is money. Equivalency means all value equal, or you, you can't change everything. For... Recently, I discovered that uh, Marx repeated, without knowing that, uh, a formula of Spinoza. Spinoza. Spinoza has, it's not exactly the same, but Spinoza has, for the money, this very interesting Latin formula, compendium universale. Compendium means in Latin, um, abstract. Yes, I think that abstract is, yes, is a good uh, translation for compendium. In the French translation of Spinoza, there's sometimes a résumé. Yes, a résumé is like abstract and other, I don't remember another. Well, well, you see, I say that just because it is very interesting to think that already more than one century, before Marx, you have already this, this terrible formula, you know, that is everything can be, uh, uh, comment dire, resume. Reduced. Huh? Reduced. Reduced. Uh, reduced, exactly. Reduced. 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 Mm -hmm. So, so uh, yes, we could say that is an absolute reduction of the value. And now I think uh, we, are, uh, we are in front of uh, uh, a geopardy, that is to, to think that with life, we have, uh, we have a, good, <laughs> a good value. But why? Because, because uh, <clears throat> If, if life is by self a value, we have to answer to, to two questions, I would say. The first is the question of death. 
because there is no life without death. And precisely, precisely through the corona crisis, we discover a, a lot of very interesting questions about death. On one side, uh, the, the death of the people in the hospital without the possibility of, uh, of uh, the presence of the of the parents, the family, etc., has been a problem, of course. And what is uh, interesting is that th this problem was already a problem with every uh, epidemic or pandemic since. Uh, since in the history, you know. <clears throat> so um, already, but on the other, ah, just me, you know, just I finish. Mm -hmm. On one side, so so there is a question of death, and uh, the and the second question is that, uh, in a way, it is the same question. It is then, how can we? Uh, name, if you want, the value of leave, or what uh, is what content, hein, Irene, quel contenu donné à la valeur de la vie? What hmm. content to give to the value of life? How ah. much is the life worth? Yeah. Ah. No, and what value? Uh, what content? Yeah. Worth ah. becomes different. Because it goes back to money to say how much is life worth. It's the language of the economy. In, so a, way, in a way, if you want uh, the, the question, the question is uh, what is the value of the value of life? We say the life is an absolute value. OK, uh, what is this value? Um, because if this value is not the general equivalency or the Compendium universally, then, uh, then it is it is clear, and I think these words, these words, more or less, more consciously or not, the thought of Marx, the value of the life is the unicity, the singularity of the life. It, because it, it is not life as, uh, I don't know, as strongness, as, uh, as power to work, to produce. Maybe on, uh, of this point of view, Marx was too much still in the, in the thinking of this kind of value. Ne nevertheless, when, when Marx says that uh, beyond the private property and the collective property, there is what he calls the individual property. And it, uh, it doesn't give any explanation to that. Then uh, there is no other way to think this individuality uh, in Marx, in Marx, uh, precisely not in the meaning of the individual uh, 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 you know, making his way uh, within society, but much more of the irreductibility of the individual. Of the, that is the fact that you and you, and you, and you, me. <laughs> there, there is absolute uh, nothing commensurable. 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 Uh, uh, between, between us. Absolutely not. Uh, well, and then, uh, so, so how, how could we uh, name the, 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 this value? Or 
maybe a, a better way to ask the question would be to say, uh, alors in French, eh, uh, comment est-ce que cette valeur vaut? Valoir. How, how does this value uh, evaluate? Uh, worth, is worth maybe. We can go back. Where, where this was. Mm -hmm. yeah. In uh, in German, in the in the uh, German of Kant and, and in the German language in, in general, but uh, so Kant uses this word. There is one word, Würde, which is of the same family than Wert. Uh, the value in German is Wert. For example, in Marx, the uh, plus value mm -hmm. the, is mere wert. Mm -hmm. La plus value chez Marx. Uh, over, how do you say in English? Surplus value. Surplus value? Mm -hmm. Surplus, surplus value. value. Voilà, surplus value. This is mere wert. In my mind. But the, the, the word würde uh, is translated in French by dignité. Dignity. 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 Mm -hmm. And if if we speak of dignity, you understand that we speak of some things that, that cannot be negotiated on the market, you know. That there is no equivalence. Your dignity, uh, Fong, your dignity, uh, Irene, uh, my dignity are exactly the same being absolutely uh, Different at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we have, me because yeah, I, I, I stop you. That is very, no, very, very, very important. And how much does is the value of life? Is it twenty dollar worth, like uh, the George mm -hmm. Floyd murder? Uh, Joshua Sobol, Israeli playwright, said he was impressed that a life does count, that uh, blood did count in America at the moment also of George Floyd. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, this time of Corona made us more aware? Is this a time of change in that capitalist or post-capitalist society where we are now? Are we at a moment of turn? I see, I think precisely we are in a moment of turn since I don't know all, all the time when I think about that I think the, the turn maybe started with the first world war or the turn started with the end of the uh, Socialist Republic Union. No? Uh, between both <laughs> is almost uh, one century, that is uh, the 20th century. So I think the 20th century has been the, the, uh, the century of the, the starting of a term. Yeah. And more than a term, that is something I, I like to call that mutation. Uh, you know, like in biology, a mutation is, uh, uh, for example, the, the genetic mutation is that uh, in, in a genome, uh, in some um, ADN or DNA, DNA. Uh, there, there is a change in the in the position of several genes, yeah. the position or one one goes out or, or one returns itself, etc. So uh, this is a mutation in the in the animal species and what, what is studied uh, mainly is uh, with the species of of small insects which reproduce themselves very quickly 
Uh, so it is possible to, to see how, how the mutation occurs through the generation. You know? In each generation, there are mutations. Many of them are what is called uh, by the biologist uh, lethal. I don't, uh, that is... Uh, lethal, lethal. Hmm? lethal. De deadly. Deadly, deadly, lethal. Yeah. Uh, but some, some are, are not, and some give the possibility to a, a new variety inside uh, the inside the, the, the species so uh so i think i think for, for example the, mankind did uh, have some mutation like maybe the first the, the biggest mutation was uh, the end of the human sacrifice which is precisely the, the phenomenon that uh, makes after some centuries makes possible the the mutation of the antiquity in in the mediterranean world and from there the starting of this uh, Occidental civilization, uh, which became the, the worldwide civilization, uh, even if even if they are there or there are so some some other uh, uh, inheritance, you know, from, of course. For example, from Chinese, from uh, India, from uh, <laughs> a lot, a lot of people and civilization in the world, so it's all around South America, for example. But, but, but uh, there is, it was there a mutation because we started with something. Uh, Called rationality, logos, logic, etc. Yeah. And then the capitalism. Capitalism was itself a mutation. That is, and, and, and maybe we, we we have still to understand what happened with capitalism. With capitalism, it happened that uh, yes, we 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 change completely. Uh, Precisely our relation to the value, to evaluation. You know. This is this is why Nietzsche, Nietzsche, who is an old friend of Irene, uh, Nietzsche was so occupied with the not the idea of the value, but the idea of the evaluation. What makes value? What gives value to the value? You know? And if Nietzsche speaks about changing the value, changing the value is not to, to say, oh, now I prefer, I prefer what? For example, I prefer woman over man. You know, the big value should, should be woman. Well, that makes no sense. But, but what makes sense is what is a gesture of evaluation. And for a very long, long time, the whole mankind did have the gesture of evaluating that there is something like gods uh, or something like uh, la noblesse, la noblesse. Nobility. Hmm? That the Nobility. people, by, by the, that people are born as noble people you know, and other, I'm not, maybe not. And, and now, precisely with the capitalism, with the equivalency of the, the, 
There, there is no, absolutely no way to, to show a, a, a possible evaluation. I am, I am absolutely sure that maybe, maybe uh, through two or three centuries, I know it's very long because those things are going very slowly, you know, but through two or three centuries, some mutation of this kind will happen. It's, it, is, it is not possible in another way. And then you will ask to me, I know, well, uh, do you have a, a, a mean to, 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 to grasp a, a new kind of evaluation? And first, of course, I will answer no, because it is, it is not predictable. What will come, will come. This is not fatalism, it is, not, it, is, it is just that it is, it is the law of the time that the future is not predictable. Uh, in French, it is possible to have two names, you know, that is one is the future, the other is the avenir. Avenir is like uh, is, is a, hmm? what is to come. To come, but uh, in French you have the verb venir à venir, and we have the name l'avenir. But uh, the, the name is made with the verb, you know, and future is not made with with the uh, with the verb. Future, on the contrary, is a is a, a a mode of the verb of the, of the noun. Then the, the future, one could say, the future is a projection of uh, what will be, but what will be and uh, uh, what will be is is uh, is considered as uh, as real. You know? uh, and sometimes it's true when the people said, I don't know, 50 years ago, we will have a train going this uh, at 2 to 150 kilometers per hour. Yes, it's okay. It will come in. And like today, there are some people say, we will have optical uh, computer, which will be, I don't know how many times stronger than our computer. Certainly, certainly, uh, that will happen. Um, the question is that we, with an optical computer, I think we will not know better uh, <laughs> what is, the, the purpose of such uh, uh, um, um, rapidity. Yeah. And the avenir, avenir is something quite different that is, that is to come. And the avenir is something we can experience every day. I don't know what will happen in one hour and you don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. In I, hope, I hope no catastrophe, but no. Yeah. No, but very simple, I, I don't know, I don't know what can happen if I, if I go now out on the street and maybe I will encounter somebody, uh, which I never expected to, to meet. And so, 
then uh, the avenir yes is coming it's coming and and coming is 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 uh, uh, coming is still coming i would say you know like uh, it is why, for example, in, uh, in English, precisely the, the sexual meaning of to come uh, is a very interesting one because, uh, and in French we have, yes, we have this partly the same with venir, yeah, venir. Oui, viens, je viens. For example, yes, in Blanchot you have, uh, uh, repetition of the vien, the point, uh, which Derrida has commented, but I don't remember where. So, this is interesting because precisely uh, we think spontaneously that to, to come means to come to an end, but precisely not. Oh, or precisely uh, as well in, in, in a sexual meaning as in a mystical one, I would say, to come has no end. Uh, to come comes. Uh, uh, of, of course, of course, there is an end, but, but there is an end, but the end does not belong to the coming. The, the end is more than, uh, the, the, there is a limit. Then, then comes the question of the limit and of, of, of death, if you want, of course. Well, so, uh, the, the, this could be, the, I think my first, Answer that is that it is not predictable, but 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 second, I would like to nevertheless to make a kind of prediction, and but it is not a new prediction. I think this prediction has already been done. Who uh, I think it was uh, Andre Malraux who said the 21 century will be spiritual or, or nothing, something like that. No? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it is very ambiguous if, if we think, uh, what, a, a new religion? Well, no, 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 I <laughs> see. But uh, um, I think, or, or I don't know, even even Nietzsche, even precisely Nietzsche, and Nietzsche says not only that God is dead, but he says that that uh, we which we which new gods we will uh, be able to invent or something like that. Hmm? Um, of course, of course, God's, God is, is, is by, by itself a, 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 a dangerous uh, idea, an idea of power, domination, etc. But, but maybe, maybe, maybe it could be something else, uh, which needs something else than any kind of God, if you want. I mean, for example, Heidegger, uh, Heidegger uh, sp spoke about the last God as a God who, or whose uh, the entire divinity is in making a sign. Mm -hmm. Uh, but making a sign with a, a German word, but which is not translatable, uh, wink. Winken in German is 
to make a, a little sign so you know like, like the children she, the children say whoa, whoa, whoa. wink wink maybe like, wink hmm? wink uh, you say wink in english yeah, uh, yeah. yeah maybe. Uh -huh. but i'm not sure the meaning exactly the same as german but there is a wink it's more a gesture. Signing, <laughs> signing or signaling and... Uh, yeah, see, signaling yeah. something, uh, of course it can't be, it can't have a meaning, but it, it can't be, on, I would say, on the border of meaning. You know, like if, uh, well, if I, if I make a sign with my eye, you know, a clander, if I do that, you understand, you understand something, but you don't know exactly what. It, it can be a sign of seduction or complicity. Or you will see, uh, well, but, uh, but the wink, the German wink, the, uh, and mainly as, as a, sign of children, the children may winke, winke, this is, they say, the winke, winke, this is the very, very little baby who says to the grandmother, winke, winke. So, bye-bye, but it's not, not bye-bye. Uh, so, well, uh, Heidegger says the, the, the divinity of the last God is only to wink, because there is a verb, winken, to make a, make a wink, a sign, a sign, a sign toward, toward, and after that, uh, after that, I have other things to say, but, uh, okay. Then, uh, well, no? Uh, yeah. The last word I could say about that would be would be to say that if there is a if there is a, a mutation to come, a, a mutation with, with a with a kind of wink toward toward I, I don't know why, uh, it could be it seems to me it could be certainly only in the direction of precisely the absence of God and the absence of any kind of goal of uh, final end. You know. Because what is very interesting to, is to see that our contemporary crisis is a crisis is a crisis of a humanity which was supposed to have an end, a total man it was the word of Marx, or uh, a. a achieved society with a, a, a total mastering of the entire world, etc. etc. But everything is going away, you know. We, we have, uh, every day we learn that now there is, there is a, and precisely the pandemic is like the return of something very old. We thought that should never happen. Uh, something like the plague in the, in the Middle Age or the Renaissance. But precisely it happens. It happens. That, that is because the, the modern condition of, of life and, and, and the globalization of life uh, makes possible uh, this pandemic. It has been already 
partly is the case with AIDS, but, but AIDS uh, was and is still uh, is more limited in the condition of communication still. And now we have, we have a virus which communicates, which is as well limited, uh, but uh, Well, then, uh, 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 yes, we, we, we are in, in, a, in, a, in a period where, no, I would say it is not possible that uh, it will not change, but, but, but and it is, it is the same, if you want, about politics. See, today the question is not uh, to be more, what, socialist. Of course, of course, it makes sense. And in France, it is, I think it is more interesting to, to, um, to have some socialist way of thinking or social democrat way but who is going this way now emmanuel macron himself he cannot do in another way he cannot uh, of course it is not the same uh, in all countries and 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 maybe and partly macron says several things but but and if, even if even if we forget uh, the only word socialism, the word state, and the and the, the job of the state is today in Europe at least in a condition that was uh, absolutely non predicted uh, two years ago. Simply two years ago. No. Hey, wh what does that mean? That mean I would say that means nothing about the state, the entity of state. No, it means something about the necessity of making uh, many things together because we are together, we live together, we interact together all the time, and then. So we need we need we need to think again uh, something about state. It is very strange now in France. We are doing uh, many things, which in fact are exactly like nationalization, but they don't have this name. <laughs> but but we it was, I don't know how many. How many thousand million of euro are, are taken to to everything? You know? uh, but from where they come? As they come and they come or they will come from uh, uh, from the money of everybody. Of course, of course, there is still a question about uh, the, the tax of the most rich people, etc. But, but even even that, even that, will be in a way forced to to be changing. Then, then, uh, what politics means today is. In a certain extent, uh, nothing, nothing. But uh, the necessity to to manage with uh, with everything that we we produced. You know? but of course, there is a big difference between uh, between a government like this one of Trump, this one of Bolsonaro, this one of Modi, uh, etc., this one of Macron, etc. Yes, of course, but 
altogether, those differences are not are not very important things. The important things is that the word politics today becomes uh, like a, a large open and empty world. No, everybody says this is politics, political. We have to. Uh, I know, I know. I, I, I was myself, myself. Uh, that's almost 50, 40 years ago, 30 years ago. I used the word the political, which at this time, you know, in the 70s, it, it was for us, it was, it was uh, like uh, something really new that is the essence of politics, not the bad uh, politician uh, activity. Uh, <clears throat> as we say, in French, there is an expression which is very comic, la politique politicienne. The politician. Say again, Aaron. Pol political politics, the politic of politicians. Right. The political of politicians. Right. But, but, but it is bad politics, you know. It is a oh. politic of interest, corruption, calculation, etc., etc. No? Of course. Uh, but, but, but it is very strange because uh, if I would speak about uh, 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 like une cuisine cuisinière, the bad cooking would be the cooking cooking. You know, or the, uh, the, the cook cooking, it's the professionalized cooking basically, no? Ah, well, well, if you want, but precisely what we understand by what cooking is, is should not should not be professional. Should, should be what we are able to do with taste. I I don't speak for me because I am absolutely unable. But uh, uh, no, cooking is a is an uh, yes, is a kind of of art. Well, uh, politics as well. Politics was an art, but this is totally forgotten. But then uh, to speak about the, the politic politician means uh, that there is a problem with politics. But I think that then the non-politician politics has today that is when it is used in, in many, many discussions, uh, has the meaning, uh, I would say more or less, of theology. <laughs> Politics mean uh, yeah, the, the, the global understanding of the life and the common life, etc. Uh, precisely, I think the, the, if the, if the politic is the, the art to manage uh, the society uh, and uh, then I would say it has to do with the fact that the society itself is 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 not everything that we we have a life through society but beyond society this is certainly in a way what I, what uh, marx sought with the uh, individual property that is what one is properly proper proper proper, proper. the proper 
זה פרופר. זה פרופר, זה פרופר, which precisely is, is, is never proper, זה פרופר. Who are you proper? I... Mm-hmm. No, you are not even Irene, and I am not even Jean-Luc. Oh, no. And uh, when I, but I, I think that the, 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 what, what is interesting today we, with all the crises is that precisely we are We are on, on the border of all those questions. Mm-hmm. Just uh, to come back to your beautiful description of the vinker, the vinker vinker, the sign, I think it was also Arto who said to give to signal through flames. If we come to theater, what are the signs? What are the signals we should give? What, why do we need, do we need theater in this time? Do we really, do we really need art? Or just precisely because I, I think theater, uh, theater is, is a, the place for signing. What what uh, is, what, what the actor make on the screen is is not representing something. It is much more uh, giving some sign and a, a lot of sign because uh, it's a sign of, of color, of matter, of sound, of gesture, of the kind of presence. You know. what, what is an actor? What is it? What is it? a great actor. Uh, in a way, I would say a, a great actor is, a, is a, somebody who becomes nearly himself or herself a sign. This is why at the age of the, these actors, we we did have some uh, idols of the theater and of the cinema. You know? <laughs> But uh, now, of course, it, it can, it can uh, fall on the, on the side of uh, idolatry. You know? uh, uh, But, but there is Something uh, there is some 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 reason uh, for the possibility of idolatry. That is that uh, yes, uh, you know, so some some people are able to to make sign by their by their presence. This is a, this is a matter of presence and of communication of presence. And you know what Arto uh, means with the theater and the plague is uh, precisely that the, the plague is for him, and, and finally, finally for Arto, the plague is not a, a physical disease. It is, it is mainly a, it is a communication, a contagion. And if he speaks of the theater as a theater, as pest, as plague, as plague, that is because uh, theater communicates, has to communicate uh, what, what, then uh, communicate uh, something, uh, something, um, Uh, out of the mere understanding. And then in this, 
in this extent, I, I could say uh, this is not by chance that today there are, uh, at least with what I can see in Europe, and I don't see many things, but there are two, two phenomena together. One is that the, the theater is a, is a little fatigue. Tired. Tired, yeah. No, this is strange because in, in our theater, what do we see? We see uh, in certain region, all the time again and again uh, some, I don't know, piece of Shakespeare or uh, Brecht, of course. Even Beckett, I would say, even that. Uh, of course, there are more contemporary uh, writers. Uh, but um, let's see, there is, I, for my feeling, there is still in the theater, with the theater, a disease with the representation, the scene in front of the spectator, etc., etc. But on the other side, there are more and more uh, attempt to create new form of theater and 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 way of making theater out of the theater. Uh, and I'm not alone to say that it is a, a French. Uh, Theater, well, I don't remember now his name. He wrote a, a he wrote an article oh, two months ago to, uh, about about the crisis precisely, and he he said we should uh, rethink everything about the the public uh, uh, help to the theater and to so make possible, uh, for example, much more things of theater on the street, etc. So there, there is, I think, I think that there, there is a, a need uh, today to an attempt to, to, um, <laughs> Precisely to to feel, uh, I would say, a theatrality, which maybe is no longer present in the theater as institution, but this theatrality is precisely uh, what belongs to life. And this is one aspect of what Arto, I think, understood very well, uh, because it belongs to life to to come out. You know. uh, a, a, a baby, a baby, uh, a baby is is an actor. Become an actor. Uh, an ordinary baby, uh, he plays a role. He he understood the, the address to the other, to, to that. To that. <clears throat> and uh, like I say, like for example, it, because today the cinema is so important, and uh, I I remark. But because today we are absolutely tired with the cinema of Hollywood, and not only not only the blockbuster, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am I am very uh, tired. Yeah, with. Uh, 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 the film policier. Hmm? 
detective film. Detective film, maybe? No, les, les films policiers, les, les, pom -pom, les, les, les histoires euh, de tout, 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 les vols, gangsters, corruption, le gars qui était en prison et sort de prison, et les, tout ça, tout ça, oui, ça va, ça va. C'est un peu. All of uh, narratives, you understand, the narratives of, of, uh, of Hollywood, of. Uh, yeah. people, uh, But, uh, people, but... That may, may, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it, it goes uh, until the, the narrative itself, and then it has to do with uh, what happens in, in literature, maybe. Uh, but, but uh, on another side, I think there are today some films uh, attempting to to do in, in another way with the narrative. Uh, I've seen a, a film of a filmmaker I didn't know before, Philippe Ramos, a film uh, where there is no, no, no one story. Uh, and and uh, the major part of the film is made of uh, uh, images fixed. Still images. Hmm? One after the other, and even even like if if you analyze an image, you know the the act of the that and that and that and all the other way. And there are in in the in the same uh, in the same film, uh, you have I I don't know maybe six or so, seven what not stories, but people. Character, yeah, yeah. and each time it is in another approach, and then you are you are like invited to think if there is a link between, or maybe not. Oh, it is so things like that, or, or oh, I don't know. I've seen another film, but it's much too too much complicated to. To explain well, <clears throat> I have the feeling that uh, what happens there is precisely that uh, uh, that uh, the film itself is looking for what I would call its own theater. That is how how it how it comes in presence, you know. Because if, if you see what is what is special to the cinema, I would say is, what is special to the cinema is is that uh, with the cinema you can zoom, and uh, you cannot zoom uh, at the theater. And we zoom, zoom, and like that, you know, when, 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 when. close, close what, up. What what what, what close up? which is a title of a film. Uh, so well, what happens with that? I think the cinema is much more there than in the lateral movement, the, the, the car or the horses or the going faster. So, you know. Then um, in the theater, in the theater, it's different because there's a, It, it is not a matter of closeness, uh, or there is a different closeness. It is a difference of the of the feeling of the presence of the actor. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I see in, in a way or in a, in another, all the time. Uh, Uh, what is at stake is, uh, uh, I would say, is not to show something, nor to give something to understand, but to make possible, well, I would say, a certain kind of touching. 
or certain kind of presence of, of presence in a in the meaning in which presentia in Latin uh, it doesn't mean to be there but to be in front of or to be beside of presentia uh, and not absentia. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel um, if we talk about um, theater as an as an uh, uh, appearance on the stage, appearance of signs, should it be in this world? Is it a political action or should it be point to outside the world, the time we live in now, let's say America, the unrest we have here at the moment, the demonstrations, what, what art do we need and what art works? I'm not an artist. <laughs> the artist can answer. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the artists have to, to, to try to, I don't know. No. Uh, what could I say is for me uh, uh, make contemporary work of art. Uh, uh, In, I would say in, in, in any case, in any case, the, the possibility of uh, coming, I would say, to a, to a certain liberation of meaning. That there is not the, the matter is not to think something, not to understand something, not to comment something. I would say the contrary to philosophy. If you go to listen to a philosophical talk or a course in the university, so you want to understand something and think about but in a, a way, the, the presence of the professor is not that important. I don't say it is, it is absolutely not important, no. Uh, because now, now starts a discussion about the virtual uh, teaching, etc. Okay, but, but, uh, I, I don't know because I have an example uh, to say on the theater in but in, in France in France there is a, uh, a theater maker François Tanguy whose uh, his theater is named Le Radeau. Uh, Radeau Radeau is a raft I think no? something like that. A lifeboat. Yeah. Hmm? A lifeboat. Uh... Mm, yeah, yeah. Radu. Huh? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why his name is Le Radu, okay? Uh, le Radu eh, le Radu is a, a little way to say, yes, for me, the scene is a, is a Radu. I am there on the ocean. Uh, no. Well, all the spectacle of uh, François Tanguy and, and of the theater of the Radu. Uh, are almost all are uh, without without any 
clear narrative, there is something with that. And, and med, but mainly about uh, the places on the scene, changing the placing, going up and down, and I don't know, or, or I don't know, suddenly putting in, uh, something front, in front of, of the spectator. So it's very impossible to, to describe. And when it is, when it goes on, on talk, when actors are delivering some talk, there's not very much. Uh, and uh, not all the time possible to well understand it. You know? So what, what is interesting there? What is interesting is precisely to, to be um, I would say to be invited to a space which uh, which is working as the space it is with the, the, uh, the peculiar rule and habits and forms of this space. Uh, uh, well, but it, it is not worth to, to describe an invisible thing. Uh, maybe maybe it seems to look like uh, some uh, uh, theater of object. I know it was practiced in Germany, uh, but I, I've never seen really uh, uh, that. Well, uh, anyway. Uh, Anyway, the question is that uh, we enter a space and we are in a way going through a space, even if we stay at our place. Um, uh, where where maybe we, we, we get a certain sense of the theater we are, you know, of the, the, if, if the, the actor the, makes me feel uh, not as another actor playing with them, but as, as being with, in a way, you know, and not only a spectator. Well, I think that all, all the criticism about the spectacle, you know, the criticism of the situationist, and, and, um, is true, even, even if the, if in the situationist way it is already uh, gone, but uh, yes, maybe we could maybe we could say that you know uh, uh, I think the, the people of the majority of the other culture or civilization of the world have been or are still now people uh, living their lives and, 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 and being in their space and, and time. You know? And maybe we are the first not to be exactly in our space and time. We are all the time projected, for example, out of time because in the future, and not in the coming, but in the future, what will happen? Oh, all the time out of our place, so, uh, um, 
with, with the need to travel, to go there. No, if, if, if we think seriously about tourism, tourism, why the mass tourism is a, is, is a problem? Of course, there are techno ecological economical problems, as you know. And the tourists are destroying uh, Venice, for example. But that, that's not the, the, the main problem. The problem of the tourism is that, in a way, we are all tourists because we need to go everywhere to see, to, to what? To what? Of course, I understand. Uh, I understand how interesting uh, and, and, and rich it is. Uh, it can be to, to travel, to visit. But the question is precisely about the visit. You know, the visit. What it means to visit a place? In my life, I was very frequently, very um, frappé. Touched, uh, uh, um, yeah, touched. Very touched. But more but, different than touched, uh, frappé, uh, shaken, or... Very shake, shake, or see, we shake, exactly. Shake. By the fact that, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, but I don't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> Uh, About tourism, you were no. saying, what is the visit? Now, yes, uh, I was shaken by the fact that when I was somewhere to do something, for example, when a uh, long time ago, when I did go to, to America, say, to California, to teach for two months, three months, something like that, then makes uh, I, I started to have a, a life there to know the people to uh, but when I go just to to see a city uh, like it is said in French we say fair uh, you go I don't know you go in Italy and uh, you say j'ai fait Sienne, Florence, et Venise, j'ai fait. I did, I did, I did. I did uh, I, 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 which is terrible. It is, uh, it is almost like uh, je me suis fait, je me suis tapé, je, 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 avalé, j'ai avalé Florence. Alors là, là, there is nothing there. So, uh, today I would say I want to go, no, today, for me, no, traveling is too tiring, but, but uh, I, I prefer to go only in one place and to stay there and to do something, to do something in the place uh, and not to come visit to look uh, what is to see. Ah, this is the Taj Mahal and this is the Grand Canyon and etc you know so in the tourism in the tourism there is uh, there is uh, maybe we could say a scopic drive to speak uh, with Freud you know a scopic drive and precisely a scopic drive is something else than the and the inhabitation uh, taking part of, and maybe it is not possible to, of course, to to leave and and and, um, and just to, to be in in every part of the world. In in this meaning. Uh, uh, I would say one can understand 
if uh, if people are claiming for the proper place, the nation, etc. Uh, as a nation, I use this word because I have no other one, you know, or, or, the, or the people. But precisely as we know, all those words, and mainly the word nation, uh, did become a, a closed word, an empty word at the same time. Um, but but when when it goes about uh, uh, about a nation which is not able to be like it's a nation it is or it claims to be like Palestinian or I don't know maybe Uyghur. Or, or many, many other people around the world, then, yes, what, it, what is at stake here is that uh, it, is, it is needed to inhabit somewhere or, or to have an, um, to use the German word, a uh, Heimat, uh, I don't know if you use the word Heimat, uh, uh, has been a very terrible uh, German word because uh, hyper used by the Nazi, you know. Uh, and since romantic times, the Heimat. But, but there is a, a, a Belgian uh, resistant who did go to the camp and but he comes back and he, he wrote a, a book after I don't remember the title of the book there is a chapter uh, uh, how much Heimat we need because he said the camp is the absolute contrary to any Heimat you know. then comparison to the camp we need a Heimat but if the high mat, if the high mat is uh, close, uh, you know, family, national circle, etc., then so we know. Yeah, I like that very much that you compare, um, you know, theater in a way to to travel um, as tourists or not, but to stay, uh, to be engaged, to inhabit a space and not just a come and go, but to be touched, to feel the, to resonate um, with, um, with, 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 with this place you, you are in. And um, do you feel in the times of confinement when you were, could you travel and your thought, did you feel uh, you were, um, your liberties were, uh, were um, limited or how, how did you experience this time, you said today's the first time after three months you went to a bakery. So how did you experience uh, that uh, time of uh, limited liberties and thinking? I didn't experience that as a limit of liberty. I think that, uh, as I said before, for people uh, living in small houses, uh, in, uh, and with many people in, in, in a small room, uh, no, it, it has been a real problem. But, but what was said about about the, the liberty the, by by many people living like me in a, in an apartment large enough, etc. That uh, that I I don't understand. Oh, I understand. I understand better that it is really the, a false understanding of liberty, because because first, if if if, if freedom, if freedom is something, not something. Uh, so, if freedom has a, a meaning. 
it, it is not the freedom to do what I want because I, who is that? <laughs> to, to be I, 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 I shall be one I first and how to be one I if not every day all the time by, by, by talking to other I and understanding the you with the I and the we, etc. First, uh, and so I want, what is, what is my want? What is my desire? What is my will? I can, I can want a, a lot of things. Of course, if, I don't know, if you would tell me uh, I don't know. I don't know. Would you, would you like to have a, to have a, a, a big and strong car? To uh, why why not? When, uh, who, who would you would like to to travel to? I spoke of the Taj Mahal before. I was never there. I was never in India because of my health condition since 30 years. I am, uh, I cannot go to India, nor to Africa. And especially with Africa and for India, um, it is painful for me. I, I, I regret, I, I like to see African films because I have a feeling, I was once in the Burkina Faso, but only once for three weeks. That's not very much, you know. <clears throat> So if you would offer Aldo to me, I would say, yes, of course. But that makes anyway, it makes no, no sense. If you uh, first uh, to, to give me that, uh, you would need to, to make me in a better uh, medical condition so that I can go to Africa. I cannot. So, yeah. but, uh, well, then, uh, no, uh, but all our life is taken in very precise limits. I am born there, there, at this time, in just condition, uh, and then I, it happened that and that and that. And all, all my life uh, is made from a lot of uh, meeting or encounter, uh, unpredictable, hazardous, uh, etc. And then, and then it makes an entire life. And an entire life is never entire. Yeah. Well, then where, where is the freedom there? The freedom is I would say the, the freedom is, is to be able at each moment to be still in the, uh, in the moving uh, toward, toward myself. <laughs> but, but myself will never come. No? But to, but yes, yes, to go, to go, to, to, to become there. And until the point where, uh, oh, where I die, but uh, to, to, to die means, means that, yes, there is nothing else to do. That is something to do, to die, uh, if possible, to, to die is to do something. Even, even if it is uh, a passive doing, but, uh, but of course, if you die because 
you are uh, taken by a policeman. Um, uh, you, you, you do not, you do not. Then the, 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 the death is, is uh, given to you, or is uh, imposed to you, is not yours. But, uh, but uh, I, I, th I think that uh, uh, there are much more people, even religious people, who understand that uh, dying is not losing the chance to live more, but coming to Precisely to the, to the point where uh, well, precisely there is nothing more to do. That is learning that there is no more. That is what what I cannot understand when when you know trans humanist people are talking about living I don't know two hundred three hundred years. And what more? And what more? Um, of course, I would like to be living in 200 years to see what happens. Would like. But uh, if I like that so much, then I have to, to die right now. But and to find the, the, the mean to be resurrected in 200 years, which is another, another, another thing. Maybe uh, since yeah. we're coming closer also to the end um, of the talk, you wrote. Uh, yes, I, I am seeing the time. Yeah. Now. You wrote about, you wrote a lot about also about tragedy. Do you think uh, we live in a, it's a tragic time we live in? Yes, maybe maybe we are living in the, the time we can rediscover tragedy. What means tragedy? Precisely, uh, it is possible that tragedy, I mean, Greek tragedy uh, means uh, the possibility of uh, uh, coming to, to, to death with an understanding of its uh, necessity, which means another understanding of this word, necessity. Uh, no. Uh, the tragic hero is the one who at the same time is uh, desperate to be condemned, etc., etc., and to die, but he understands that it is, how to say, his fate. So, okay, wh what what means fate? What means fate? Means the destiny. The destiny. That is the question of the destiny. Destiny. The destiny. Uh, uh, the destiny to to destinate is to to send somebody somewhere you know, or, uh, by which by whom are we des destined destined i don't know uh, destination hmm? no, no. Uh, for example, we destin uh, by which uh, so the, our destiny is is everything everything my parents 
where and when and how was I born and what was at stake, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is that that makes it in, in which people with which language, etc., etc. Right. Uh, That is certain, certainly that is destination, but the destination uh, is not necessarily the destination to a certain point, but maybe uh, it is a destination to be destinated. Derrida invented uh, invented the word. Uh, which, like any invented uh, word, is is weak because it is invented. But it is destinérance that is destiny and errance, errance. Comment tu traduis? Errance to err, to err, to move without knowing a goal. Errance, 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 errance in English also. Oh. You, you could even say destinérance in English, almost. Huh? Almost. Okay. almost. So, and, so it, it, is, it is a nice word, again, uh, despite the fact that uh, if it is not a word of the language, it is not. <laughs> but uh, Oh, oh, maybe, maybe we could try we, we, without using another word, just to say how, how do we have to understand our destiny? Uh, and, 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 and now I, I think for, 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 for a long time and for the, maybe all other culture, uh, it was in a way uh, clear. I have the destiny to be to be that and that. Uh, no. and, uh, and I, I don't discuss about that. But it can be it can be a noble uh, destiny or or a very poor and humble destiny. But now precisely. How, uh, what we made ourselves with with uh, with humanity, that is in in a way that is the other side of the general equivalence. We are all equal. We 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 know that we know that that we all the same absolute value, and uh, <clears throat> then. Our destinies are our destinies are all <laughs> equal and absolute. Uh, but but if if some people are using the destiny of the other people to to subordinate their destiny to themselves, then uh, uh, that, that is a we should un vol, un vol, comme on dit, volé. Craft. Of Theft. the destiny. Of the destiny. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, no, no. So, Billy, um, thank you. And uh, and I think uh, your, your, your thoughts about, uh, you know, that uh, value of life and, uh, and the evaluation of it, that we are recalibrating it, that the future century might be a century where spiritual questions will come up, that we are in a destination on a way uh, which will be full of errands, but also to error. And we will be wandering around. I think this is a... Uh, um, something that is where the life and work of an artist, of course, is close, and um, and also that there is no center, no sense, there is no form that can give form to a truth that we we have to 
have to find it, but we should be touched or we should resonate that we create, as you say, the space and theater that we inhabit, a space that, uh, that connects us, gives us a, a feel of a, of a heimat, of a home, or of a belonging, that this is um, something that theater artists keep in mind. As a final, um, I don't know if it's a question or a final, as a statement, as we, we do ask uh, young artists uh, who also are listening, uh, to our talks uh, or, or artists in general. Um, what is the meaning of the Corona time now? What do you feel is important to keep in mind and how to use it best? And what advice do you have? Uh, you know, I am thinking to the poem of Paul Celan. Uh, with the title Corona, uh, as meaning the crown. You know. And in this, but I don't know the, the poem, but I remember just that uh, the end of the poem is, it is time, it is time that stone um, agree to flourish. C'est correct? Fleurir. Um, fleurir. Flowers. flowers. Flour. No, fleurir, the, the verb fleurir. La, la fleur fleurit. Flower. It exists in flower. English. Ah, it is a verb, flower. So it is time that the stone agree to flower, to, to become a flower. It's time. Yeah, that's, that's, that, is, that, is, that is true. And Heiner Müller, the great German writer, would write about the flowering or the, the imprints of flowering concrete. You know, you would see that even concrete mm -hmm. flowers over time, you know, in the, exposed mm -hmm. to it and that this is a, a hope. Uh, we, 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 we all have a dear uh, Jean-Luc, uh, really um, thank you for taking time, uh, precious time, also a lot of time. And uh, I wish we would have each day a, a conversation in that way. I think it is full of uh, inspiration and, and thought and also in the kind of uh, archipelagos islands of thoughts that connect itself to a bigger bigger landscape actually so uh, it is important to hear a philosophical uh, point of view and uh, also that we don't know uh, as you said l'avenir we do not know um, we can make predictions but we do not know you don't know and we don't know but we have to find a way to to create meaning, inhabit a space, and, uh, and create some sense of a, of a belonging, of a community, um, and some kind of a solidarity, and, um, and this experience of isolation, of loneliness, um, which perhaps for you is a way of living all your life. And I know a lot of your writing was done in a time of your heart. Oh, not so much religion. <laughs> yeah, and your heart transplant, or your can't fight with cancer, you know, where, where you for freely still you could still think the free thinking that is out there that we have now so thank you for um for 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 joining us and uh, i think we might have even better questions better questions now and it is an, an important uh, contribution and i think also for us in the world of theater and performance uh, that it is uh, for you important to take time and talk to us gives us uh, also meaning in in our work. Tomorrow we have a New York director, Avoye Timpo, who will talk about her work and her life and her experiences as a, as a black young director, a woman, and uh, her, her dreams, her ideas about how to create, uh, inhabit a space or create a heimat, a belonging for herself, but also for, for audiences. And then on mm -hmm. Friday, Woody King Jr. Uh, for 50 years ran a black American theater and he will tell us what it meant for him and, and his journey. But again, Jean-Luc, thank you so much. And I hope we will also thank in you. our series continue to hear voices from uh, philosophers, anthropologists, or sociologists. I think we need to reach out uh, that uh, we have to get out of our, uh, um, of our smaller 
worlds where we are in and uh, we step outside the world we know and art does that but I think also philosophy and in some way philosophy perhaps also is close to it because it tries to step out of the moment out of the world we know and find truth or find an answer and um, and searching for 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 truth and um, as you said art is now creates something that you can see it's a uh, you know, the opposite of philosophy, we talk about things with language, but the artist creates something final, a statue, but at the end, uh, gods are statues we look at now, and but they are images and they are powerful ones. Thank you very, very much. And Irene, thank you for being with us, for being thank there. Thank you, and thank you to thank Irene. You presence. And, um, and I would like to, to thank you both. And uh, thanks to HowlRound for, for hosting us, to uh, Travis and Thea. And, uh, um, and VJ to my C team, Andy and uh, Sanyang, and uh, uh, to, to everybody, hope you will be able to join in tomorrow again on Halvan here at Emerson College. And these are conversations that come out of the time of uh, Corona. We should have many, many more of them and, and show that the individual experience we have is an individual one and there's a collective one, but it is so vastly different. But all together, it's perhaps it creates a body. It's a community, uh, or commu virus, uh, as as Jean Luc uh, created that term. So thank you very much, and uh, thank bye you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. I say hello to Renee. Thank yeah, Renee. We will call you. you now to say thank hello. You. Yeah.